Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Schleich 2016 Dimetrodon figure. Now, this figure is retired, but it was recolored and released in 2019 in more of a green color scheme. But uh, I haven't picked that figure up, it doesn't really interest me, and uh, I much prefer the coloration of the original 2016 one. Now, Dimetrodon was a Polycosaur synapsid, or stem mammal, that lived during the early Permian period from 295 to about 270 million years ago in what is now North America. Okay, so this figure, I love the coloration. I absolutely adore the coloration of this figure. However, there's a lot wrong with it, unfortunately, in terms of accuracy. But let's get into the head first of all. So looking at the head sculpt we can see it has an articulated jaw which is a very nice touch. Uh, mine's a bit, it's a bit loose and sometimes it doesn't stick all the way down or up I should say. Now looking at the head sculpt, as well done as the scales are, they really shouldn't be there. As Dimetrodon we now know it would have more mammalian leathery skin and so that's a bit inaccurate. Now the, the eye looks very nice, they've given it the round mammalian pupil which I'm a fan of. The muzzle looks really nice, looks mammalian, the nostrils there. And the teeth, while they're a bit blocky, I think they've done a good job because Dimetrodon means two measures of teeth and they've done a good job of giving it different kinds of teeth. We can clearly see we've got large canines here, in the front we've got incisors, they've got the classic notch, then we've got uh, very primitive, I believe, molars. Very nice. We've got the red tongue sculpted in there. Roof of the mouth has been sculpted as well. Bit of a weird colour, but I think that's really well done. And then the overall colour of this orange on the top of the head, and then this very pale yellowish brown. Then we get this red highlighting the head. It's a bit of shrink wrapping here, but it's a very minor gripe, can't really see it, the underside. You can see the jaw, um, you could say it has kind of like a bit of a throat pouch here, sort of-ish. Looks a little odd, but it doesn't bother me that much. And then we get to the sail. This sail looks gorgeous, I absolutely adore it. The coloration of this orange with the black stripes cutting through it. Granted, it looks very similar to the Papo Dimetrodon, which I actually don't own, but I actually prefer the coloration on this and the patterning. I think it looks a lot nicer. Now, a point I do want to bring up with the sail is that the tips of each spine in the sail should be a bit more exposed than this, as we now know, as we've found fossils of um, healed bones or bones that are broken off and I believe healed and that wouldn't be possible if the skin membrane was connecting all of them perfectly like this so th this is a bit inaccurate I'm afraid and when we go down to the torso again the scale detail it looks very lumpy scaly skin when it should really be more smooth leathery like skin and then the legs the proportion is a bit off and the posture is off. These should be um, probably more erect rather than squat like a reptile. And the feet are a bit big. The proportion on the feet does feel a bit off and the legs feel... Actually, no, I don't think the legs are too short. I think it's just because they're um, splayed out. The feet are quite big though, but they do all have the correct number of toes, which is five, and I like the nails on them. The underside, I think, looks a little bit better. It looks more leathery mammalian skin, especially here, looks very nice with the skin wrinkles, very well done. Again, we've got these absolutely minute scales on the legs, just barely make out, but again they shouldn't be there, which is a shame. And then I'd say probably the worst thing about this figure is the tail. I think it's, it's too short and rat-like, it should be a bit uh, stiffer and longer. And yeah, I think that's the worst part of this figure. But overall, there's something about this figure 
that's just very pleasing. It's got a very nice colour scheme. And I just, I'm, I much prefer this to um, the 2019 green recolour. But that's just me. I think this colour scheme shows off the coloration a lot better. Now, in terms of the length, you're looking at about, uh, is that about 15 centimeters? No, 16 centimeters in terms of length, in terms of the height. Um, the tip of the sail, uh, that's nine centimeters exactly, I'd say. Okay, and, and that's all I have to say about this figure. Uh, as I said, this one is retired now, but you can get the recolor, but like I said, I'm not as much of a fan of that one. Uh, from everythingdinosaur.com, service is fantastic. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.